Ho, 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 everybody. It is Smoking Santa here, and we are in, well, I, I'm actually in the barn. I've taken a break. Uh, you know, all the elves are busy making all the kids presents, but I thought I would share with you today uh, the top items that Santa is being asked for by barbecue people around the world. So, uh, you know, if you're um, you know, looking to buy presents for, for, for a barbecue person in your life. Uh, here are some ideas that I think will go down really well um, and hopefully, you know, put a smile on their face. A and also, you know, let's be honest, hopefully it's going to make them cook you some better barbecue as well off the back of it. So um, the first thing off that I'm going to talk about uh, is a, an essential item for any barbecue is a, a thermopen. Uh, so this is basically a, an instant read thermometer with a, a nice probe. So, you know, just for probing into the meat, uh, making sure that it's, uh, it's actually cooked or at the level that you want it. So uh, these here, a Mark IV Thermapen is the one that we tend to use. Uh, these start at about, I think they're about £65. Uh, you can get the older models, uh, some cheaper ones, which I think are about £35. Uh, but must have item if uh, if that barbecue person in your life doesn't own one um you know definitely a, a great thing to to get them um the other thing that i'm going to talk about is uh, actually a knife so um but uh, this knife in particular uh, so this is a serrated slicing knife uh, but if you actually look at it rather than like a bread knife which has got those sharp jagged edges you know this is a nice and smooth like wavy effect on the uh, on the serration so uh, this is really good for cook uh, cutting through uh, really tender uh, cooked meats but will also get through like crunchy crackling and you know also like a bit of bone or whatever else so um, yeah Wustoff uh, this is a Wustoff super slicer uh, this is the icon uh, version they do ones with different handles uh, these started around about 80 pounds uh, as, a, as a slicing knife um, the next thing we're going to talk about is some books I know a lot of people would uh, be surprised but I do actually read books from time to time um, and some of my uh, favorites so these are ones from my, my personal collection uh, the grill stock barbecue book is a, a great starting place for a lot of people so uh, this has got tons of different recipes in there uh, some of them from UK competition barbecue teams including us uh, and uh, I think this one now is about £15 or something like that on Amazon. Uh, another great one which I really like is Barbecue 25 by Adam Perry Lang. Uh, Adam Perry Lang does a, a load of great stuff, uh, particularly more around grilling um, and, and, and more traditional like steaky type cuts. Uh, another great bar barbecue book is Wicked Good Barbecue. Uh, so this one is uh, is from Ameri you know it's an American book, um, but loads of great recipes, some great sauce and rub recipes in there, uh, as well as just general tips on on cooking uh, cooking barbecue cuts. Uh, this one here, America's Homestyle Barbecue, is a bit of a you know I, I don't see many people talking about it or, or even know about it, uh, but basically this is. Uh, recipes from loads of competition teams all throughout the US um, making things that they like to cook at home so some really great ideas there um, other books out there that are really popular uh, that I don't own or I haven't read but you know I hear a lot of good things about things like the Hangfire uh, barbecue book uh, the DJ barbecue book uh, I don't actually know that the names of them but you know that those ones if you search for them and also um, I think it's smoke and fire or something from uh, country wood smoke so you know those ones are, are very popular I see a lot of people talking about the recipes they cook out of there and you know people people seem to like them so the next thing we're going to talk about so uh, you know a good book you know will cost you anything between like five pounds and 25 pounds something in that kind of region so you know a nice little little stocking filler uh but moving on to some more uh, more technical items so um we are going to talk about uh, yeti coolers or yeti products so um you know first of all you get the yeti cups uh these started around about 30 pounds uh it's a, an insulated cup excuse me Mm. keeps your drinks nice and cold uh, but also keeps your drinks nice and hot as well um, yeti also make a range of bags like cool bags um, 
you know, they are, they, they, they are pretty pricey, uh, but you know, these are basically like designer bags for, for barbecue people. So, um, you know, a, a lot of ladies like their uh, Louis Vuitton, um, you know, barbecue guys and girls love a Yeti bag. Uh, so, you know, these start at around, I think about like 200 to, to 400 pounds. Um, Yeti coolers as well. These things are really good, but again, they are expensive. Uh, so, you know, they are, I think this one here with the, the wheels on uh, is about 400 pounds. Uh, but then you also have like smaller models. I, I mean, you can even get bigger ones as well. Different prices starting between like 200 to, to 500 pounds, really roughly in the, the size most people want. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things you will never need to buy another cooler again. Um, you know, like the, the Yeti cooler, uh, we took this uh, camping with us this year. So we did a, a trail across the, the North Coast 500, a road trip uh, for a week. And yeah, you know, we're, we're in the, out, you know, the, the outskirts of Scotland, not really sure if or where we'd ever be able to buy ice. Uh, living in the back of a camper, uh, kept all of our food and importantly, our beers as well, nice and chilled for the whole time. So, so yeah, Yeti coolers, uh, yeah, that's a, a great one. Um, another product which uh, I think is also uh, underrated is gonna be um, your barbecue guru. So if you're not, not aware of what a barbecue guru is, basically it's a, a little computer uh, which also has a fan and a thermometer probe that, that plugs into it. And you know, if you are fed up of being woken up by your significant barbecue other, um, because they're you know, waiting for alarms to go off in the middle of the night and you know, getting out to check things, make sure it's all okay, um, get them a barbecue guru. Uh, this will basically manage the temperature for them throughout the night. They're not gonna have to worry about uh, anything going wrong um, and really they can then focus on uh, actually getting some sleep uh, but also you know getting getting the meats cooked uh, perfectly for, for what you're wanting so uh, these I think they start around about 150 to, to 250 I think they do go up even higher if you want like wi-fi and all that kind of stuff but um, yeah the ones that we use uh, the DigiQs it's a bit old now but there, there is a newer model uh, but they are around about 250 pounds as a, as a kit and that will give you everything that you need uh, for, for, for them to to plug into their barbecue and start cooking um, the next thing that we are going to talk about, so uh, another idea for a nice little stocking filler is going to be a, a rub pack. So, you know, if you go to places like Barbecue Gourmet, uh, they have a, a selection of rubs already packaged up in a nice little gift box. Uh, I know that Angus and Oink are also doing a similar thing, and I'm sure there are others doing it as well. But, you know, give them some, some new rubs, some new flavors, things that they haven't tried. Um, and, you know, obviously, it's great for you to buy these things for them because it means they're going to cook great things for you as well. Um, and also following on from that, um, you know, who doesn't love bacon? And let's just say homemade bacon is so much better uh, than what you're going to get in the supermarket. So uh, Angus and Oink uh, in particular, they make a really good bacon curing kit, uh, as well as other curing kits for like pastrami's and, and things like that. Um, so that will make your, your own homemade bacon. Uh, but then you also have uh, this, which is a, a cold smoke generator from Pro-Q. Now the cold smoke generators uh, cost, uh, I think it's about 35 pounds. Uh, you add some wood chips in there, some, some sawdust, sorry. And, um, you know, and that will then give you that smoked bacon. But you can also use it on other things. So you can smoke cheese or salts or wh whatever else you want to, garlic. Um, you know, really, you know, your imagination is the only thing that, that limits it. So um, cold smoke generator from Pro-Q, that's uh, £35. Uh, the bacon curing kits, uh, they are, I think they're about £20. Um, but you know, you'll, you will end up with a ton of bacon um, out, off the back of that and a lot better than, you know, than what you'll be able to buy in the stores right now. Um, other things we're going to talk about, so other ideas of what you could get for, um, for Christmas um, is gonna be things like uh, plancher. So, you know, the, the hot plate that, uh, that we've used on a lot of videos. So, you know, these are great if you're cooking things like smash burgers, but also if you wanna cook like 
bar, you know, a breakfast on a barbecue. So, you know, if you want to do like uh, your bacon or if you want to do things like French toast or pancakes or you know, a whole host of other things, uh, it's a really cheap upgrade for a Weber kettle. So that's going to cost you about £60. Uh, but again, you know, really great thing. If somebody doesn't have one already um, and they've got a Weber kettle, definitely something that they should, you know, you should think about getting for them. Um, yeah, they'll be able to cook some, some brilliant stuff on that. Um, so, and sticking on that theme of um, Weber accessories. So uh, you can also get things like a rotisserie for the Weber kettle. Uh, you can buy the original Weber one, which I think is about, I don't know, 160 ish you know 160 175 pounds uh, or you can go online there is a company called only fire and they make uh, they make one as well and it only costs 90 pounds or 100 pounds uh, so uh, really good unit a lot of people use them um, and you know save yourself a, a bit of cash uh, if you don't want to spend out for for the web or one um, next thing coming up um, is you know thinking about classes so uh, whilst we're not uh, we're not teaching any more classes at the moment um, there are still tons of great people doing barbecue classes and teaching barbecue classes so you know really you'd be expecting the cost to be anything from you know 60 pound up to like 250 maybe 300 pounds depending on you know what they're cooking how many things you know how long the course is um so you know if you're wanting like more of a, a basic beginner type you know just getting started into barbecue you know you want to make sure that you're not getting raw food all the time um you know marcus at country, country wood smoke he does like a, a beginner's one that you know covers things like cooking steaks and I don't know, sausages and what, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you want to get into the more advanced stuff and more competition focused, um, you know, people in the UK, or, you know, the person I talk about in the UK that's doing it right now uh, would be Uncle Tony. Uh, so Uncle Tony's Cockney Q, they are, you know, one of the top teams in Europe at the moment. Uh, so, you know, Tony's uh, also a good friend of ours. And um, yeah, you'll have a lot of fun with Tony. Uh, I, you know, his class will be more at the higher end. Um, but you know, definitely worth the, worth the money and the time invested. Uh, and again, you know, your significant other is going to come back uh, and they're going to cook uh, some great things for you uh, off the back of it. And you know, and if you don't want to go for a, a class and send them away um, to to do it, um, you know, you can also join. You know do things online. So uh, another gift idea that I would, I would strongly recommend, I do buy, you know, I am subscribed to this myself, uh, would be a subscription to something called the Barbecue League. Um, and basically this is a, a group of some of the top uh, pit masters in America have come together. They put out a load of exclusive content on there from world championship winning recipes to backyard eats uh, to, you know, general, chats they run competitions you know dedicated forums where you can ask these people questions and uh, a, you know a year subscription to the barbecue league is a it's hundred dollars a year or basically that works out to be around about 75 pounds uh, but again you know we'll put links in the description to all of these so you'll be able to you know be able to find them and pick these off as your as your christmas list so just looking over at my list of things that may be uh interesting um another thing that um people would probably like uh would be uh, an uni caru so the uni itself is a pizza oven uh the caru is uh, one of their entry level ones costs about 250 pounds uh but you know it means that you can cook uh you know wood fired um pizzas you know neapolitan style in i mean they say in like 90 seconds uh or maybe even less uh but yeah i mean we've had an uni for years love it uh you know definitely great uh, to to you know sit outside cook some fresh pizzas um i mean yeah yeah miles better than if you're ordering pizza out or anything like that um and following on from that another idea would be to you know if you're uh, if your other half is uh, interested in, you know, likes DIY and likes getting their hands dirty, um, you could always get them to make, uh, you know, buy them a big popper dro uh, excuse me, a big popper smokers uh, drum kit. 
so you know this isn't going to be like you know musical drums uh this is basically making your own uh drum smoker uh yeah we've got one over here basically they provide you with all the parts that you need all you need to do is buy uh, an oil drum uh, and then you can just sort of drill the holes bolt it together and then you've got a fantastic you know fast, fantastic smoker for for cooking whether it be low and slow hot and fast everything you want in between if you like that person very much but you're also fed up with waiting for how long things take to cook when they're barbecuing stuff uh you know the other option would be you know something like a gateway drum smoker now you know these generally cost around about uh i think they're around 950 pounds for a gateway drum smoker so you know you've got to really like this person uh but you know you're going to get the same flavor if not better flavor uh from the gateway drum smoker in half the time so you know rather than waiting like two days for a brisket to cook uh they'll be able to cook it in like five hours um which is a huge plus point uh you know we use the gateway drum smokers uh all the way through competitions now uh you know and uh, they, they they've done really well for us so I think that's it. Um, I mean, hopefully that's given you a, a few ideas, some of the things that you can be buying your, you know, your, your other half, your, your barbecue other in your life, um, you know, different presents to, to get them. Um, if there are, yeah, but I mean, if we've missed anything, I'd love to hear the things that you think would make brilliant Christmas presents uh, for, for other barbecue people. Uh, and obviously I can add that onto their list if they've been very, very good boys and girls um so hopefully that's been really useful um yeah you know christmas isn't that far away so you know obviously there is going to be uh craziness with shipping and all that kind of good stuff but uh hopefully this gives you a, a good range of ideas of you know different things to get them different price points uh hopefully it'll put some smiles on some people's faces and also help them make some amazing food for you and your family and you can sit back and relax a bit whilst they go and play with their new toys so um hopefully you've liked this um you know we'll put, as i said earlier we will put a, a link in the description to all of these different items so you can see them you know so you can find them nice and easily pick what you might want um and you know hopefully um, yeah, that's been, uh, been, been good and will help solve some of these Christmas questions. Um, if you've liked this video, please do us a favor and hit the, uh, hit the like and the subscribe button uh, so you can see more things like this that we are doing. Um, and also look out for uh, you know, another appearance of Santa that may be coming along very soon. So I um, hope everyone is staying well and also being good boys and girls. I do keep a list. I will be checking it twice. Uh, and if you are very lucky, you could end up with a Yeti or a Gateway or, you know, just spending some, some, some great time with the family. But uh, other than that, I have got to go and wrap some presents. So uh, I will go off. I need to feed the reindeer as well as we're up the barn, make sure they're okay. And yeah, we'll do that. So um, hopefully, you know, you've liked that and we'll see you on the next one.